In the morning, your alarm goes off. You have two choices in front of you, either to postpone the alarm and go to bed and dream new dreams, or to get up and follow your dreams. Mostly the first way is the preferred way. You open your eyes. All you want to do is go back to bed immediately and the idea pops into your mind that you will sleep for a few more minutes and then get up immediately. So you can ease your conscience at that moment, but after a few minutes, you will not be able to get up. It takes several hours to wake up. And this goes on for weeks, months, and maybe years without you realizing it. Would you like to break this cycle? I hope this content will help you if you really want to sleep well and wake up energized. So why is it important to wake up early and get quality sleep? What difference does it make in our lives? Waking up early is actually the secret of many successful people. What will make you different from others is to find the time to increase your productivity. We all have 24 hours. How you use these 24 hours distinguishes you. In the early hours, mostly during sleep, your mind is clear. It is easier to focus on the hard work. There are fewer distractions. Others who are with you or in your home are probably asleep. Many successful people such as Apple CEO Tim Cook and Microsoft founder Bill Gates also wake up early. It is not a coincidence that highly successful people wake up early. Research shows that there is a link between success and waking up early. According to a study published in the Harvard Business Review, those whose performance peaks in the early hours are in a higher position in terms of career success. The study also found that morning people are generally more proactive, identifying problems earlier and solving them faster. Of course, it is not right to deprive yourself of sleep in order to wake up early. Prolonged sleep deprivation is hugely detrimental to both your health and productivity. On the contrary, too much sleep prevents you from having a clear mind or an energetic body. You need to link quality and adequate sleep with getting up early. This way you will work better and be more productive. So what can we do for this? Let's dig a little deeper. When we sleep, we go through five different stages of sleep. These are the stages of light sleep and deep sleep. The first two stages are the light sleep stages. During these two stages, our body temperature and blood pressure drop and we gradually fall asleep. The first stage is the transition to sleep and only accounts for 5% of the night. The second phase is responsible for 55% of the sleep phase. It is during this stage that our brain activity slows down and waking up becomes increasingly difficult. Stages three and four are the stages of deep sleep. Our brain activity is minimized. Healing and regeneration take place during these stages. Therefore, these stages are very important. The last stage is the rapid eye moment or REM stage. During this stage, our eyes move, we dream and our brain activity is at the highest level. After these five stages are completed, a new sleep cycle begins. Each cycle lasts about 90 minutes and we repeat it over and over again as we sleep. Let's talk about why we are telling you about these stages and their characteristics. The time you wake up affects your energy levels. If you wake up in a deep sleep cycle, you feel bad and exhausted. But if you wake up in a light sleep cycle, you will feel energized. Since each sleep cycle lasts 90 minutes, set your alarm accordingly and set it for the end of the cycle. If you go to bed at 11 p.m., it makes more sense to set your alarm for 6.30 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. What time you go to bed is very important. Going to sleep at 10 p.m. is generally considered to be the best time. It actually makes sense because we are part of nature, because we are programmed to sleep when it gets dark. If you find it impossible to go to sleep as soon as it gets dark, try the consistency method. If you try to go to sleep at the same time every day or eat dinner at the same time, the body will get used to it and want to regulate it after a while. One of the biggest problems of sleep is blue light. We are constantly looking at our phone and computer screens, and the blue light emitted from these screens negatively affects the hormone melatonin, which is necessary for us to sleep, and destroys our sleep patterns. These devices destroy our perception of day and night. If you get away from the blue screen by putting down the phone or computer an hour before going to bed, you will see that your sleep quality improves tremendously after a while. If you can't stay away from these devices because of your job, Make sure to install an app that blocks blue light or activate the night mode on your device. You can also choose glasses that filter blue light. Like light and sound, our body temperature plays a big role in sleep quality.
When we get ready for bed, our body temperature usually drops. We can therefore fall asleep faster. But if your bedroom is hot, it is difficult to fall asleep. At the same time, when you go to bed, you should definitely put aside the thoughts and stresses in your head. It's a mistake to go to bed thinking about what you have to do tomorrow or this week. When you go to bed, you should focus on one thing, a good night's sleep. We all face some very bad things during the day and we can obsess about them. Don't let them come to bed with you. You can also solve such problems by writing down all your anger on a piece of paper or reading a book. Eating and drinking also greatly affects sleep patterns. If you like to eat late at night, avoid carbohydrates and fatty foods. If you do eat, eat protein-oriented foods. Caffeine is much more important than food. Excessive caffeine consumption is an addiction. Not only does caffeine destroy your desire to sleep, it also makes you crave more and more of it. Now let's summarize and itemize everything we have just mentioned. Remember to set your alarms according to your sleep cycles. Try not to break your consistency routine as much as you can. Avoid blue lights as much as possible and stay away from devices before sleep if you can. Avoid caffeine before sleep. Avoid bringing your worries and stressful thoughts to bed with you. Avoid large meals and fatty foods at least two hours before bedtime. In addition to these, there are a few other tips we can give you. When you wake up, you can turn on the lights to give your brain a feeling of enlightenment. This will increase your energy. Avoid excessive exercise shortly before going to sleep. If you can choose to sleep in a completely dark room, this will make it much easier to fall asleep. If you constantly turn off your alarm reflexively, put it out of reach. This will help you get out of bed. And because we lose a lot of water when we sleep at night, make sure you drink water when you wake up. If it is possible for you, get up before sunrise. If you do this, you will find that you can organize your work and focus better. Remember, hard times make strong people, and strong people make for good times. Thanks for listening to me and keeping me company, my friend. If you like the video, you can give me a nice support by subscribing and liking. Remember, we love you. Take care of yourself until we see you in the next videos.